So the question I want to ask you is, where do you see us now in that evolutionary development? Let me draw what is called a bell curve, which looks somehow like this. It's being used in, in describing random events. Bulk of the population today is this intelligent, more or less intelligent biped, all right? And uh, uh, with a vertical spine, and who pushes the buttons on TV and drives a car, etc., etc. Now, there is some back throw, that is, there are some people here in this area, very few people who are still gorilla-like, that is, they are hairy, they beat their chest when they see their neighbors and a few other things. And then we have other people who are here in this corner, very few of them, who are very highly developed, because we say that evolution is now pushing mankind in this direction, away from the gorilla types, towards the very highly evolved people. At this point, we're here. What's going to happen maybe a million years from now, half a million years from now? This curve is going to shift. It's going to shift like this. That is, the bulk of the population will be very, very highly evolved. We have gone away altogether from the gorilla types, no more gorillas. And what we have here now is the average man is now the retarded person uh -huh. in evolutionary terms. The bulk of the population is extremely, very, very highly evolved. And the cutting edge of evolution here, these are very, very highly evolved people. We can't even imagine what kind, what kind of person that will be. He may not have a physical body. Of course, the habitat, so to speak, of this group here, well, you just go out and you find them. They're, they're all over the place. The habitat of this group here, what do you think? What do you think you find these people here, think? Um, <laughs> uh, I, I suspect you would find them in universities. You'd find the, you know, the people who are very bright, people who are uh, in the leading edge of professions. <laughs> I mean, it's an intellectual thing. Well, I suggest that you find them in mental hospitals, in nut houses. And well, the reason for that is that these people, they live in a different reality, in a reality which, which is very changed and few of them are adapted to live in this reality, so naturally they can't function very well.